Alright guys, welcome back to Pink Collectibles. This is the XM Gambit that I just got in not too long ago. Um, and there is a small tiny issue. So this sash has a little hole and what that does is this effect piece keys into the sash which then keys into the body to create his kinetic effect. However, the problem is um, if I pop in the effect and the hole, it keys in but this left peg never actually goes in. Now if I pop that in, this never actually sits. And if I put any pressure on here right now, it's gonna snap. So I don't wanna do that. So instead, it's hair dryer time. This is a common thing, guys, right? Cause uh, this Gambit is an older piece and it's probably been between being in storage at a warehouse and getting air shipped to from Singapore to here, uh, or if you're if you did boat shipping, um, it would probably be about the same thing. But temperature changes, things like that, that causes the uh, the the resin to shift. So it happens. It's normal enough of a thing that it's not a big deal. Um, I've done a video on this before where I've showed you how to repair minor issues like this and uh, so I got this from my really good 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 Singapore khaki friend Ben from Cosmic Chase so uh, if you don't know who he is I will link it in the description uh, you can use my discount code I don't get anything for it but just Ben's just a good dude and the last time we had an issue like this he actually got a he got somebody in the industry to show me a technique on how to fix this and it's it's been a very useful skill to have. This is what I want to do. I'm going to pop on my stopwatch, okay? And it's important that you remember when you're doing this technique, but it's important to, you to do this technique that you're using a hairdryer and not a heat gun because a heat gun is going to be way too hot and it will cause a problem. So you just want to use a hairdryer on this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this go for about three minutes while I heat, while I heat the uh, heat the affected area. You get loud for a second, but here we go. That actually did not take that long and it, uh, so that only took 47 seconds as opposed to three minutes and that didn't take that long and what I don't want to do is over over make it overly malleable but this is popping in just fine so what I'm gonna do now very quickly is I gotta pop this key in while it is still soft uh, and then let it cool to room temperature and sit and there you go so now so so the last time I had to do this it took about three minutes this time it softened up and became malleable in about 30 seconds 30 40 seconds I looked at the stopwatch like 47 and so what I did then was I started feel, because it's also this is a small area I started to feel that the sash was getting very soft and malleable and I didn't want to disintegrate it. So what I did was I pulled back on the heat while it's still soft, gently pushed the peg into place and then quickly added the, the, the effect piece with the key to key it in. So what's gonna happen now is if you just let this sit for about the next, uh, about the next 30 minutes to an hour, it will cool to its right temperature and it will set in the right position that you won't have a break. So this is perfect. This is gonna be, I just need to sit and let this cool and and yeah, this will be done in, in the next uh, hour or so. And, and normally what I do is I would 
leave it for a good um I would leave it for a good couple hours. I mean I'm I'm gonna go do something else. But I would leave it for a good couple hours just to kinda let it set and then I'll and I'll check it later. Um if I need to heat it up again a little bit more I may but if I don't then yeah it's good to go and it can it's ready for you to uh to display. So anyway this is a very quick how to fix simple resin problems from statues due to shipping or temperature changes from being in a shipping container for too long or in a warehouse for too long. So simple quick fixes, techniques, tricks that you that would be very helpful to anybody who is in this hobby. So anyway guys, I hope you like this video. Plus hit like, subscribe, tell me to go away, however you want to do it. I appreciate you. I'll see you guys in the next video.